Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Jordan. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Today, I'm doing a makeup routine. I'm gonna attempt to do a voiceover. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. If you guys don't want the voiceovers, um, comment down below. Also, comment down below some video ideas. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you guys next week. Starting off, I use my Dual Action Moisturizer by Clean Clear Oil Free Whatever. Next, I take my Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray and I get a spritz of so. After spraying that, I let it sink in for a second or fan myself off, as you can see. Now I'm taking my Skin Transformer Face Spotlight um, Illuminator thing and I rub that in and it literally makes you look like a disco ball. This summer I've been really into like the glowy look and the bronzy look. Next step is foundation or BB cream and I like to use the Skin Transformer Face Tinted Skin Enhancer or I like to go with the Dream Liquid Bouncy Mousse. I now I'm going in with a flat kabuki brush and just blending everything into my face and neck. <laughs> now I'm going in with Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Kit. Um, I used the two darkest colors. Now I'm using liquid foundation. I'm using CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and I like to use this for my dark circles. And instead of dampening my beauty blender with water, I'll use my Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray and spray that to dampen it. And then I'll go ahead and blend in all of my concealer. Now I'm going in with the powder from the e.l.f. contour palette. And I only use this on my t-zone because I like more of the dewy looks. Next up we have contour and I'm using the contour palette from e.l.f. again. I really actually like this palette a lot. I want to get the shade and light palette by Kat Von D but it is a little pricey. So I'm using this for now, and I do the little 3E thing, or whatever it's called, so yeah. Now we are doing a highlighter. I'm using the Mary Luminizer Highlighting Powder, and I put that on my cheekbones, my the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Tease Palette, the Tartlet one, and I'm using color Heartbreaker for my eyebrows and um, my eyebrows are really simple. I kind of just fill in the sparse areas, make them look a little bit darker and then make sure I don't have that little block look going on in the front. And After I fill them in, I go in with an old mascara wand that I've already cleaned off and I go and brush them out so they don't look as harsh. Going back in with Heartbreaker, I use that to define my crease and I use a fluffy blending brush and do windshield wiper motion in the crease. Next I'm going in with the Makeover Essentials palette and I'm using the white color in the middle and I'm putting that in my inner corners just to brighten things up. And my final step is using Maybelline's Last Sensational and I do a couple hundred coats of this on my eyelashes just to make sure that they are really up there. <laughs> I put the mascara on my bottom and top lashes. Top definitely gets more coats than the bottom does. Here I'm going in with an e.l.f. tinted chapstick. And okay, so that was this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was was not my best. Um, but yeah, this is the final look. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, comment down below. Give me video ideas because I need some. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.